People lost their homes, and down over the hill, one person actually lost their life that day. So it was uh, one of those things that you remember. Well, good afternoon, and thank you for joining us for our second half hour of Kremti News First at Four. I'm Mark Hanrahan. And I'm Whitney Ward. Thank you for being here. It's hard to believe it was 30 years ago tomorrow. The infamous 1991 firestorm just took over our area. 92 separate fast moving wildfires that would eventually destroy 114 homes and burn 35,000 acres of land. A year later, the Washington State Legislature passed a law expanding resources during large fires, which included the National Guard. But that's not the only change that's happened since then. So we're joined now by Greg Rogers, the Spokane Valley Fire Marshal. Greg, thank you so much uh, for joining us here. Can you just talk as we kind of start things off here? Talk about the effect that Firestorm had just on your district specifically. Well, I think some of the things that it had just on our district is some of the, the, the things that we've tried to pay attention to in regards to the wildfire risk level, also in regards to wind events. You know, one of the major factors with this particular fire was the, the wind events. And we always speak about the wind. Um, some of the other things I think we, we've changed is we've changed the way we respond to fires. We've, we've also worked throughout the county and changed a, a piece of what we call the Spokane County Fire Resource Officer that works through dispatch. Because one of the things that occurred is we didn't realize throughout that event that other agencies were having severe issues just like we were having. And we know there have been improvements made since then about how crews communicate, as you mentioned, and get resources. Can you talk about how the Valley Fire Department has changed in that regard in the past 30 years? Yeah, well, I think one of the things is, is not just the Valley Fire Department, but the county as a whole, even with the um, uh, emergency management. One of the things is, is with Alert Spokane, we want to encourage everybody to sign up for Alert Spokane, as well as if you, if you can't sign up through that, get the Code Red app. Um, and some of the other things that we've changed in the valley, um, as well as throughout the area, is the adoption of what we call the International Wildland Urban Interface Code, which tells us how to develop areas that are close to wildland area or wild, hazardous wildland areas. You talk about so many things that have changed since then, good changes, um, but you also talked about the wind, and that's something that, of course, we can't change and we can't control. Do you think with conditions the way they are, sometimes in that urban interface area, that this could absolutely still happen again under the right conditions? Oh, I, well, we guarantee it. It's, there, there's no doubt. Um, it, it's, it's, it's almost like thinking of it in regards to the Seattle area of an earthquake or someone uh, somewhere that's prone to that. So what we try to do is we try to educate the community in regards to what safeguards they can do and what we've learned, not just from firestorm, but as well as throughout the, uh, you know, the fires that they've been experiencing in California, the fires that we recently experienced in our own area where a complete town was lost and we continue to learn and as we continue to learn that we try to implement those best practices. I think for, for a lot of folks, they might think, hey, I live in the city or the city of Spokane Valley. This can't happen to me. But as we see year after year, wildfire season just continues to get longer and longer and more intense. I just wonder your thoughts on that, Greg. Yeah, it's interesting that you bring that up. I, I'm, I'm actually attending a conference in Montana and they're talking about wildland fire uh, this this Friday and Saturday and this weekend. Um, and I'm learning about different risk levels. And, and one of the conversations is um, how even here in Montana, they're still continuing to fight fires. And I think even with the Spokane Valley Fire Department, we still have a couple of individuals that are mowed down um, uh, helping other communities with wildfire. Um, and that's really an unprecedented and we're starting to see that change more and more. The interesting piece is, is even with the uh, firestorm, it was a topic of conversation even that we had as we were having conversations of whether to take the burn restrictions off. So it's interesting. It, it keeps being a topic of conversation and is always in the back of our mind. All right, Greg, thank you so much for your time. We appreciate your insight and your perspective. Absolutely. Thanks.